Hello guys, how you doing? Welcome back. I'm Sim UK and this is of course Fishing North Atlantic. We're gonna do something different today. We're gonna to try using a steering wheel. It took me about an hour to get it set up and working in a way that I felt was acceptable. Um, and effectively, this is something that I have been told is coming in the future. But right now, the support for it doesn't really exist. So I've put some requests in for what I'd like to see moving forward in the game. And um, yeah, just provided them with some feedback. Basically, in all honesty, it's pretty much the same feedback that I was providing back when um, Fishing Barrent Sea was on my to-do list. But like I say, there's, there's no support for this right now. So what you're gonna have to do is basically find an Xbox 360 emulator an X360 CE is uh, my chosen implementation. So if you can see my wheel, then uh, you know that I'm doing everything completely via this thing here. So, so there's a lot more I'd like to see from this game. And we'll support in head tracking and two of those things. So I guess you guys will want to see my, my settings. Let's have a look at my settings. So I've got my keybind set to bearing in mind that this is being registered as an Xbox 360 controller. So if I tell you what this is doing as an Xbox 360 controller, you now have you'll know how to emulate it on your own system. So we've got the left top and right top triggers bound to the accelerator and decelerator. That's what's doing our throttle. And you can see that the brake, the, the left top axis is inverted. Otherwise it doesn't work properly. Um, left and right is bound to the steering wheel itself and basically that's the left stick is left and right uh, starboard thruster and port thruster that that's going to require something completely different it's not going to work very well with just a steering wheel so we'll have to look at that another time look up look down I've already explained that uh, zoom in and out they're on the R1 and R2 paddles uh, R1 and L1 paddles the, the top paddles not the uh, not the triggers, but the buttons on the top, if you know what I mean. Um, open map is the back button, and that's bound down here to back. Stop engine is left stick click by default, and I've set that to one of these. Can't remember. <laughs> I can't even remember which one. Uh, I haven't done anything with the searchlight because it doesn't work properly at the moment. The trawler doors I've not bothered with because I haven't unlocked a trawler yet. Switch per first person view is Y, which I've bound to Y. Uh, exit driver seat and alternative interaction. I can't bind anything to that, but you don't need to because down here you've got contextual inputs, which is where I've got the right stick click button, and I've got that bound for tertiary and, qu and quaternary. quaternary. Uh, so uh, that works just fine. That's how you get up out of your seat and stuff like that. Binoculars, they're bound to X, and start button is the pause menu. Uh, which I haven't actually got that bound to anything. I probably should bind that to something. And uh, this is X360, by the way. So how this works is, I would say, for example, here's the start button. So I find where it says start here, click record, press the button I want, which I've pressed this button here, and now you can see when I press that button, it fires and it sends that signal as if it were an Xbox 360 controller to the game. So if I now press that, it comes up side menu. Rather annoying it doesn't close it again. I have to use the, deep, uh, the back button. Not the end of the world. It works. It does its job. It's all good really. So I'll take the ship back into uh, port and you can see how much fun that is. It's, uh, it's a lot more difficult doing it in first person to start with but when you add the realistic steering wheel and the throttle controls uh, it really makes it just feel so much better in my opinion. You guys can watch my full review to see uh, my opinions on what's missing from this game in terms in terms of simulation. You have to understand this. It's a perfectly good game. If you're just looking for a chill out game to play, this is it. It's perfect for that. But personally, I like simulation. I'd like it to be more realistic. Uh, so from, from my perspective, there's a few things I like to see added few things I'd like to see changed and I think they would benefit everybody not just me not just the likes of me okay, so we're 
quite close to the edge there. And I'm deliberately doing a U-turn because I would like the port to be on my right hand side. We are very close to that. Very shallow here. I mean we're okay because we're in a yeah see we're entering shallow water. We're in um, a very shallow boat. Right, I need to get my feet on the old. Now, I've done this about 20 times this morning. You watch, this will be the time that I crash. Head tracking would be beautiful when you're doing this. done and you can actually get surprisingly close to the edge here before it detects a collision okay it will stop you can see how close we are look looks a lot closer inside doesn't it a lot closer one thing you can't do is go to port when you're in first person view you have to come out which again, I think it's a bit of a shame. But there we go, guys. I'm, I'm not gonna bother showing you uh, everything. I'm not gonna bother go fishing or whatever. You can watch my Let's Play series if you wanna see that. That's, this is just an example of how cool the game, how much cooler the game can be with the steering wheel configuration. And I dare say, if you had a throttle configured as well, it would be even more awesome. And I really hope the video is, the camera is showing up on the video I'll be distraught if it hasn't, but I can't see it on the screen, so I have no idea if it's worked or not. Anyway, that's it from me. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care of yourselves. Until next time, goodbye.